Yeah, I can do that too, Koku. Listen. See? I can crack my knuckles like that too. So this is really happening. Um, wow. Before I even get into the premise of this video, or like just start this off in general, I just want to say that I found out about this by complete accident. Yesterday, when I came home, I was really tired, so I just wanted to relax on YouTube and watch some stuff, but typically it was one of those Sundays where none of my subscriptions uploaded anything that I was particularly interested in watching, and the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour thing was going on, and I never, ever watched Dragon Ball Battle Hours because it's just mainly like Dragon Ball Legends and the Super Card Game and stuff, and I don't usually read the chat either, but I entered out of complete boredom, having nothing else to watch. And people were screaming, saying, New Tenkaichi game, New Tenkaichi game, New Tenkaichi game. I'm just like, okay, I guess these are just people that are just like, they really want a New Tenkaichi game, but it's not happening. Curiosity got the best of me, and I rewinded, of course, we've got the trailer here, but it was down, I think it was this one I was watching, right? Yeah, it was this I was watching. I scrolled all the way back. And the person, the narrator guy over there said, exclusive videos, and at the end of this trailer, said that it's a completely new game, a new entry in the Budokai Tenkaichi series. I am terrified of what this could possibly be. So, first of all, I want to point out, this title down here does not mean anything. We have no idea what this is. Look. There's this label here. Whoops. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's just ignore that. Hopefully my dad hasn't said anything downstairs because he's got the TV going. There is nothing here that indicates this is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. We don't know what this is. I have watched this trailer at least... 50 times by now. Last night was a super wild night. And when I watched it the first time from this stream down here, I was dead. Like, I didn't feel anything. I was just like, okay, so this is supposedly actually happening, finally. And I watched it again and again and again. And you know, there's some cool Easter eggs here. Like, um, here, let me play it for a second. So we can see Goku mid going Super Saiyan here, then it transitions to this. Now, I, I really like the look of this so far, just so you guys know. I'm on board so far with what they're doing. Uh, there's a lot to talk about here, but let me just, let me, let, let's just keep playing this for a second. So we've got um, some Super Saiyan God references, uh, Battle of Gods references, and Dragon Ball Super Broly references here. And I think some general um, Dragon Ball Super references as well. I think there's some scene in here. I think it's when he cracks his knuckles, right? Yeah, this part. I think this is um, a reference to when Goku was cracking his knuckles when they were doing like the preview of the exhibition match for the World Tournament. I could be totally wrong about that. I vaguely remember that only because I actually really enjoyed that part of Dragon Ball Super. But, uh... I don't know what to feel about this. Like... Okay, so while I have this up, I just want to say that if, th if that transformation was an in-game transformation, it's, it's awesome. Like, it's really cool. If this is in-game Planet Namek... I don't know about you guys, but I cannot visualize this character model interacting with this environment. Like, it looks really cool, it looks really smooth, it, it's, it's stunning, honestly. But I can't picture 
how any of this would look. So the first thing I want to talk about is what is this game? Is this a direct sequel to Tenkaichi 3? Is it a remaster? Is it a remake? And before you guys start, you know, screaming in the comments saying a remake and a remaster are the same thing, no, they are not the same thing. A remake is a game that has been rebuilt from the ground up with better graphics and whatnot, and at the end of everything, they've added additional features to the game. That is what a remake is. A remaster would be Tenkaichi 3 literally just being remastered with HD graphics, like how the Budokai HD collection was done. Um, for those of you who play Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, those were remasters. They were not remakes. There was no additional content in those games. This game is 100% a remake. And we can only tell that for one reason, because we're staring at it right here. Super Saiyan Blue Goku was never part of Tenkaichi 3 to begin with. Um... There are obvious, clear signs here of Super Saiyan God and all the other stuff that we love about Dragon Ball. But, uh, this, is this a direct sequel to Tenkaichi 3? Is it a remake of Tenkaichi 3? Because this entire trailer was showing only Tenkaichi 3 gameplay. And that was great. Because I watched a couple of other reactions, and people were just like, oh, maybe we're getting uh, an HD collection or something. I'm like, in what universe does this look like an HD remake? If, they, if, if this were an HD remake, where's Tenkaichi 1? Where's Tenkaichi 2? Now, considering how Budokai HD collection went, if we did get a Tenkaichi HD collection, I can totally picture us not getting Tenkaichi 2, and I would have been so livid because... I've been actually trying to get into Tenkaichi 2, uh, because first of all, it was technically my first Dragon Ball game, and I only started learning it several years ago, and then I started getting back into it again just recently, like learning it on the advanced level. This transition just... Seriously, I've watched this over 50 times, and I'm terrified. So, I've made a, a list of things here that I want to talk about. I've already discussed the second one, which is, is it a remake or a remaster? I've pointed out what the differences are between a remake and a remaster. Again, if this is a remake of Tenkaichi 3 with additional features and whatnot, that's cool. If this does turn out to be Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or even another entry in the Tenkaichi series, we have even more to talk about, but... I will save that for the next trailer, whenever that happens. I'm not going to talk about that here, because that's a whole ass other story for a whole ass other video. Remake or remaster, for the moment, done. I'm not going to talk about anything else until in, in that field until we get another trailer. First question I had on this list was what I wanted to talk about first. Who's developing this game? Spike? merged with um, a studio called Chunsoft Studios quite a while ago. I don't remember when exactly they did it. It must have been sometime around before, during, or after, um, what's it called again? Jump Force had come out? Because Spike worked on that game, didn't they? Oh, God, do I really want to look it up right now? I don't know what that is, but I'm glad I didn't click on it. Jump Force. Uh, Flex Runner Cheerleader Rush mobile game? That's cool if that's what it's supposed to be called. Blah, blah, blah. See, so Spike Chunsoft. So, if they did... Since they worked on Jump Force, it's very high possibility that they're coming back to do this game. Whatever it might be. But it's not... Um, it's not unreasonable... Or out of the ordinary for developers to outsource development for a direct sequel or a remake or something to another developer. There have been quite a few cases, but the only one that comes to mind, because I actually have already played the game, obviously, is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, 
those games were outsourced to a developer named ILCA, I believe. I can't be bothered to look them up, but I'm pretty sure it's ILCA. And it wasn't, if I recall correctly, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl were not done by Game Freak. They were done by ILCA, and honestly, they did a really good job. Back to this game... If Spike Chunsoft is working on it, then they have a hell of a lot of work to do ahead of them because from the time that Tenkaichi 3 came out and the amount of exploits that have been shown in the game, this game is being held at such a high standard today that in order to meet the expectations of everybody, I genuinely hope this game is not coming out this year. This is a teaser trailer. We are in March right now. There is no shot this game is coming out holiday 2023. I sincerely hope that even if it is, that it definitely gets delayed and does not come out until sometime around uh, 2024. Like early 2024, spring 2024, summer, which would be completely irregular for them to do, but I would totally be down for that. If Spike is developing this, there is a lot to question. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I wasn't gonna bring this one up, but I did write, I did jot it down in my sticky, so I'll talk about it. Will this be the final entry, or and or will it be updated? We are living in a day and age now where video games, when they come out, are very subjected to update patches and DLC and such else. So if this turns out to be a new entry, is it the final entry or are we going to get more games? If it's the final entry, will it constantly be updated with regular patches and DLC content and whatnot? Is that the road that they're going to go? Because I, re I recall initially when Ubisoft announced the their next Assassin's Creed project, they were planning to make it some kind of like game where it would constantly be updated and they wouldn't be making any more Assassin's Creed's after that. So if they were to take that kind of route with this game, I would totally understand that and I would actually be all for that. You know why? Because we have been playing Tenkaichi 3 for such a long time. Like I've wanted a new game for such a long time, and I gave up on it years ago. If they make it now, what kind of formula are they going to use? That's why I'm absolutely terrified of this. You see, Tenkaichi 3 was never a perfect game, but I'm sure many of us can agree that it was the perfect game for us, for anyone who was into a fast-paced arena fighter who really wanted to feel like they were wielding a Dragon Ball character. Raging Blast 1 and Raging Blast 2 did that to a degree, but neither of them have the fast-paced action that Tenkaichi 3 does. Then we have uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, we have Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, which I never bought. I played the demo, I didn't care much for the game. I personally don't know how good or bad it did in terms of sales. I, th I From what I heard from my friends, it was actually a, a pretty decent game. And the rest of the games are just like... Oh, God. I'm so terrified of this, I don't know what to expect. Tenkaichi 3 was the kind of game where it didn't need... It didn't necessarily need a sequel in terms of what the game at its core had to offer, it would probably just need a sequel in terms of how well it did in sales. Tenkaichi 3, how do I put this? It's a game where it would only need small tweaks and improvements in order to become a perfect Dragon Ball game for anyone who was into arena fighting with lower end graphics. It didn't need anything drastic like it didn't need any super drastic improvements anywhere so man like are they going to stick with the formula for this game like what's going to change from Tenkaichi 3 to this game if, if this is a remake what are they going to retain will the Raging Blast series influence this at all will whatever they did in Jump Force influence this title at all 
what is this game going to end up turning out to be? Is it going to be Tenkaichi 4? Is it going to be Tenkaichi 3 Remade? Is it going to be a genuine new entry? But anyway, let's see. What else did I put down here? Will the mechanics change? That, honestly... I don't know if there is anything that they could possibly change in Tenkaichi 3 to make it a better game. The only things that they could, like bring back maybe our attack cancels which Tenkaichi 1 and Tenkaichi 2 had to begin with even in Tenkaichi 2 they taught you apparently how to cancel your attacks and then of course Raging Blast entered the fray and Raging Blast is all about cancels so Tenkaichi kind of just got overshadowed by it which was fine Tenkaichi was never about cancels to begin with so it didn't really matter but well, if the mechanics change, like, can't they just bring back blocking left and right? Will they bring back vanishing counterattacks? Will they bring back some dashing mechanics? Will they make key blasts a bit more looser than they were before? Uh, what is being retained in this game in terms of, like, are they going to be bringing back blast stocks? Because that was definitely a Budokai Tenkaichi thing. It was removed in Raging Blast. And they implemented, well, actually, no, I can't bring Xenoverse into this conversation now because this is all Spike, presumably, because it's a Budokai Tenkaichi title. Xenoverse is Dimps, so I should leave them out of this conversation. Blast stocks, super attacks, like, we saw Super Saiyan Blue Goku here, so it's more than safe to assume... It's more than safe to assume that we should be getting customizable super attacks, definitely bigger stages. Uh, who knows if this game is going to have create a character mode. There is so much to be scared of when thinking about this game. It's real now. This is a new Budokai Tenkaichi game. The guy that announced it during Dragon Ball Battle Hour yesterday even said that it's a new entry. We still don't know if it's Tenkaichi 4, if it's Tenkaichi 3 Remade, if it's some other name entirely, like Dragon Ball Z uh, Sparking Omega was announced sometime around 2012, and I only remember that because I was in Costa Rica at the time that the stupid thing was announced. It was around my birthday too. I still remember how that game, how that title took everyone by storm, and now to think about this happening now is pretty crazy but honestly as happy as i am i'm more terrified of this project guys like we have no idea what to expect from this title after all these years this was completely out of left field for them what's going to change in this game what is this budokai tenkaichi going to be like what is it going to offer uh Things like crossplay and stuff, I don't feel the need to talk about at the moment, but I will mention it lightly that crossplay is a must for something like this at this point, right? They should make it crossplay because I have a PlayStation 5, which I'm hoping to set up soon. I, uh, there will be a couple of details on that at the end of this video. And I really don't want to have to buy an Xbox Series X in order to play with my Xbox friends. But, I mean, if I have to, I don't really mind. This will be worth it. The character roster and everything, I'm sure the super casual players out there will more than likely be happy to hop on this game, grab their favorite character, whether it's from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Um, hopefully, GT is in this game. Uh, Dragon Ball Super, it, honestly, like, they'll be happy to get on, just grab a character they like and start blasting supers or mashing the attack buttons, whatever they want to do. But for those of you who know me fairly well and talk to me on Discord here and there, know that I am absolutely terrified of what this project could mean. This is a teaser trailer, so we don't have much to work with. I'm still wondering, like, the guy said that this game is in early stages of development, so I'm not going to make a breakdown video or anything. I didn't think this was worth doing. There are some clear references to Dragon Ball Battle of Gods. There's uh, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Super Broly. You can see that from 
eyeing Super Saiyan Blue Goku here, but the fact that this is happening, I'm so scared. I wanted this game for so long, and the more I played Tenkaichi 3, the more I learned about it, even from the competitive side of the community, it's just, the game didn't need any kind of super improvements. It just needed some tweaks and whatnot. If we ever got a sequel to it, it would just add, like, um... Dragon Ball Super characters, uh, manga characters like uh, Moro and uh, the angel that was with him. I didn't really keep up with that arc. Um, sorry. Uh, Granola. Uh, now Black Frieza is currently on the precipice. This game is so scary to think about right now. What could they possibly be thinking of putting into it? What could they possibly be thinking of removing from it? What could they possibly be thinking of... Uh, putting it into motion, like, will it have cross-play, will it have, um, proper game lobbies and everything, like, this is so stupid scary for me, guys, I really don't know, I'm, s I'm sorry I'm just sounding like a broken record, but you have no idea how terrifying this concept is, knowing that it's real now, knowing that this is actually a thing, and the most hilarious part is that everyone's calling it Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Like, everyone thinks that it's Tenkaichi 4. I'm just like, no, it's not that simple. It can't be that simple. Since it's in early stages right now, it's safe to assume that this Goku model we're about to see, this the new one right after this transformation, is definitely not their final product. They probably will sharpen this somehow. Personally, I like how it looks. I think this looks really, really good. Uh, I was I was on the bandwagon that actually liked Raging Blast 1's gra graphics a lot. Uh, were there any other Dragon Ball games that graphics I actually really liked? I didn't care for Xenoverses. Uh, Battle of Z's looked just... I was not a fan of it. I won't say it's bad, I just wasn't a fan of it. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, well, that's Arxis, so that's only, um, you know, for fighting games. Uh, Dragon Ball The Breakers, I actually liked its graphics a lot, but mostly the CGI parts of it, not the actual uh, game models. So, oh, Burst Limit was another game that uh, the graphics I really liked, but... Uh, this, this Goku, this graphics here, these are nice. I like this. I like this a lot. This transformation into Super Saiyan Blue, personally, I don't think it's in-game. Like, since it's in really early stages, I feel somehow this is part of an opening cinematic. But if this is in-game, then it's subject to change a little. Or a lot. We don't really know. It's really cool, though. And as for why we're on Namek, I have absolutely no clue. But Namek looks good. Goku looks phenomenal. Looks absolutely sexy. I still can't envision how this character model is going to interact with this environment. But um, what I thought was actually going to be a very long video here. I don't know how long I've been recording this. But I'll only see once I stop the video. This is going to be the raw footage, by the way. I have no intention of editing, editing this at all. What is this game going to be? Honestly, what is it going to be? Is it going to be Tenkaichi 4, Final Entry? Is it going to be receiving a bunch of updates? Can we see more arena fighters with this? Part of me feels like Bandai is doing this because... I, I remember quite a few years ago, and I mean like within the last decade... Rhyme Style had uploaded a video of an interview with the devs, and I don't know if it was him personally with the devs or someone else, and whoever was in the video, they asked the devs about, um, oh, I think it was actually Trevax who was asking, I can't really recall, but they brought up the fact that Sparking Omega had brought such a storm to the internet, people were so excited, and the devs themselves said that we would love to have Tenkaichi 3, I, th I I swear to God, I think specifically they said Tenkaichi 3 and not just Tenkaichi, that they would love to have it on next gen, and a next gen at that time was PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, even the Nintendo Switch wasn't even out at that time, 
It wasn't even announced, actually, I don't think, unless it was under Project NX. But they said at that time that they really wanted it on Next Gen. They just didn't know when. And you guys know, for those of you who are in my Discord server, I have been saying for like the last two years, probably, probably since uh, just before um, Dragon Ball The Breakers came uh, was announced, that we are in such a position with Bandai and Dragon Ball games that literally anything could happen right now. Because we got Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which is basically a Dragon Ball MMO. We got Dragon Ball Fighters, which is our first official uh, Dragon Ball 2D fighting game. Uh, I don't really think Dragon Ball Final Bout and the other ones could really be considered that, but... If they are, you guys can correct me, because I'm pretty sure no one was able to take those games seriously, at least at that time. And then we got uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which is... I'll just let this play. Um, a JRPG, and basically an RPG game. So we've gotten every single game now under the sun in terms of Dragon Ball. The only things we haven't gotten are like... I don't know if a Dragon Ball puzzle fighter actually exists. We definitely have not gotten a Dragon Ball Z... Um, Racing game? Personally, I would have liked a racing game. As crazy as that sounds, I, I totally would have been down for a racing game. That would have been hilariously, comically chaotic. I definitely would have been down for that. So, telling all of my friends that I've been saying this for the longest time, that we are in such a position anything could happen now. We don't know if it's going to be a new Budokai Tenkaichi. I swear I said that once or twice. We don't know if it's going to be a new Budokai Tenkaichi game. It could be a Raging Blast port. It could be something completely different. So for them to do this, I'm terrified. I don't know what to expect. I really hope it turns out to be what we want. But because it's a trailer and... Uh, sorry, because it's a, t it's a teaser trailer. And we don't have much to work with here. And we don't know the exact title of this game. Like, they didn't even say what it was supposed to be called. They just said it's a new Budokai Tenkaichi, but there's still a lot more to question there. I guess we'll find out when the time comes, but I guess for the moment, that's really all I have to discuss because I don't want to have to put up some Tenkaichi 3 gameplay here and discuss what my thoughts on it are in terms of the gameplay mechanics, what they could possibly change, what they could possibly add. Oh, that's one other thing I wanted to mention here is that because this is a game coming out nowadays, the chances of Bandai listening to the community to make uh, patches and changes and stuff for various things in the game whenever it comes out, whatever needs to be said, they will probably more than likely listen to us and actually implement those patches. So in a way, this game happening now is a blessing in disguise but for those of us like myself who know how the game and know how Tenkaichi 3 works and play it on a really advanced level we have more reason to be scared than to be happy like don't get me wrong I am happy but I don't want them to destroy what Tenkaichi 3 has been to all of us all these years Tenkaichi 3 is such a great game that for them to make a new game now, it, it's going to take a lot of work for them to make it happen, honestly. Uh, to end this video off really quick, though, if you're curious about what I've been doing, it, I mean, if you were here just for uh, this game, then you can navigate off the video if you don't really care what I have to say next. But a little life update. Um, my dad and I have bought a house, and we have just... 90% finished moving. We've been living in the new house as of the end of January. Uh, previously, we were living in a rental townhouse, in a complex, and it's slated for demolition. So we had to find another place, a permanent place. My dad finally decided, okay, let's just buy a house and get it done with. So I now have a much bigger room. And I will be showing pictures and probably a video of it later on. As we speak, I'm actually sitting like in between my dresser or an old dresser and my bed on my computer chair. I have no space to really move around. I'm currently waiting to get a desk for my official streaming setup. And when that time comes, I will... One of my friends is also coming over 
in June when Street Fighter 6 is coming out and he's going to help me build a PC. So by that time, um, I think end of June is when EVO happens and they'll probably give us a new trailer for this game. I don't see them giving us another trailer anytime before then. So if everything works out well, by that time I will not only have my official streaming set up, but streams and videos will return with face cam and more than likely commentary. There will be a lot of changes coming to the channel in uh, the next couple of months. I will keep you guys updated. There will be a huge update video sometime in end of June, early July, if everything goes well. If not, just be patient. And thank you to everyone so far who has actually subscribed in the last couple of months, despite my inactivity. Raging Blast 2 mods will still continue. Uh, the Raging Blast 2 tutorials, I actually am trying to get all the tools together for them. It's just that I lack the time, mostly. And second, the energy to actually get on and record everything and put everything together. I think recording the footage won't, won't be that much of a, of a deal, but editing it all together will be a pain in the ass. So, just so you guys know, new house, new setup is on the way. Um, there will be a lot of changes coming to the channel, and as far as this new game is concerned, we have to wait and see. If you want to talk more about it with me, maybe in a, in a voice chat or something, I will leave a Discord link to my server in the description below. Feel free to join, you can chat with me and my friends about it. You can ask me some more in-depth opinions about stuff I haven't actually talked about in this video. If you want to, if not, you can always just, you know, if you don't use Discord, just don't join. <laughs> it's that simple. But we'll watch this once more and then I will call it here. Man, there is so much to be scared of with this game. But. Because this is really early stages, I do hope that the first official trailer we get, like with more concrete uh, game models and everything, will actually have a bit more to work with. Personally, I hope it doesn't happen until I get my new PC and my streaming setup then, that would be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys want to know more or you want me to stream like a little talk about this or something just leave a comment in the just leave a comment below saying that hey yeah we would definitely like to chat with you live about this i don't have a lot of time to stream or record anything right now but i can make the time primarily on like a weekend or a weekday in the evenings eastern standard time so thanks for watching if you guys want to join and talk to me remember discord link in the description below take care and have a great day